स्टूडेंट्स आज हम लोग सेट्स का चैप्टर जो है स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं इसको हम लोग कोई तीन चार पार्ट्स में बनाएंगे तो आप इनको देखते रहिएगा इनशाला आपको कोशिश करूंगा कि मुख्तसर मगर जाम तरीके से आपकी सारी चीज बताई जाए ओके बच्चों सबसे पहले सेट्स में क्या होता है कि मैथमेटिक्स के अंदर आपके पास कोई फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल देर इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑर्नामेंट्स देर इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ वर्ड्स अब ये सारी जो तो चीजें हैं लाइक आप जैसे जो कलेक्टिव नाउन आप लोग यूज करते हो तो मैथमेटिक्स में इस सारी चीज को हम लोग सेट बुलाते हैं अ सेट ऑफ नंबर्स अ सेट ऑफ पीपल अ सेट ऑफ ऑर्नामेंट्स अ सेट ऑफ एनिमल्स ठीक है ना तो अब हम इस पहले सेक्शन में देखेंगे कि हम सेट्स को लिखते कैसे हैं पढ़ते कैसे हैं इसका क्या तरीका है ठीक है ना आइए अब सबसे पहला जो हमारे पास सेट्स को रिप्रेजेंट करने का तरीका है दैट इज दी डिस्क्रिप्टिव मैथड डिस्क्रिप्टिव okay. मेथड uh, में क्या होता है कि आप फॉर एग्जांपल बात कर रहे हो आपकी क्लास में जो लोग एड मैथ लेते हैं उनकी बात कर रहे हैं तो हम इसको लिखेंगे दिस इज सेट है हम इसको कैपिटल लेटर्स के साथ रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं अब यहाँ पे आप लोग ये ब्रेसेस यूज करते हैं इसके अलावा आपने कुछ और नहीं यूज करना ठीक है ना तो अब अब जब आप डिस्क्रिप्टिव मेथड यूज कर रहे हैं तो दिस इज अप टू यू कि आप चाहें तो ब्रेसेज यूज करें या ना कि इसके बगैर लिख दें आप इसको लिख दें ठीक है अब इसको ये लिखेंगे ए इज दैट ऑफ students um, taking ad maths ठीक है अच्छा अब देखिए यहां पे जब हम कहते हैं कि इज अ सेट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स टेकिंग ad maths तो आप जब इसको डिस्क्राइब कर रहे तो प्रिसाइसली लाइक like, कोई बंदा अगर सेट ए के बारे में सोचे तो उसको पता लगना चाहिए कि यार ये कौन लोग हैं जिनकी बात हो रही है तो एड मैथ्स के स्टूडेंट्स तो पूरी दुनिया में कहीं भी हो सकते हैं इंडिया में पाकिस्तान के अंदर बांग्लादेश के अंदर ठीक है ना तो फिर आपने बताना है कि यार ए इज द सेट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स टेकिंग एड मैथ्स इन माई क्लास या आपका इन एल जी एस फ्लाम ब्रांच या बीकन हाउस फ्लाम ब्रांच जिस तरह से आप उसको मैंशन करेंगे टेकिंग एड मैथ्स इन माई क्लास ठीक है ना तो अब ये जब आप ऐसे लिखोगे तो आपको सेट ए के मेंबर्स के बारे में प्रिसाइसली पता लग जाएगा कि क्या चीज है ठीक है ना अच्छा अब आप बताना चाह रहे हैं कि देर इज अ सेट बी हम लोग कहना चाह रहे हैं कि इसके अंदर हमारे पास क्या है प्राइम नंबर है तो खाली हमने इसको यू लिख दिया अच्छा मैं जल्दी में ब्रैकेट यू ब्रेसेस यू लिखूंगा आपने ऐसा नहीं इसको करना मैं एक दो दफा इसको नीचे लिख देता हूँ फिर आप लोग नेक्स्ट टाइम इसी को फॉलो कीजिएगा हम टीचर जरा हमारी आदतें खराब हुई होती हैं सो यू हैव टू राइट इट लाइक दिस बिकॉज यू गाइस टू गेट मार्क्स ठीक है ना तो आप इसको इस तरह से लिखेगा अब बी का मतलब है द सेट बी दर इज प्राइम नंबर अब यहाँ पे इसका मतलब है कि दुनिया में जितने भी प्राइम नंबर हैं दे आर ऑल इन द सेट बी तो आप इसको डिस्क्राइब कर रहे हैं ठीक है ना आप सेट सी की बात कर रहे हैं तो आप इसमें लिख रहे हैं दी क्रिकेटर्स लिख रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल आप लोग ठीक है ना तो यार क्रिकेटर्स अगर आप लिखोगे तो कौन से क्रिकेटर्स हैं पाकिस्तान के हैं कहाँ के हैं तो फिर आप लिखेंगे द क्रिकेटर्स इन माय स्कूल या आप इसमें लिख सकते हैं दी दी मेंबर्स ऑफ द पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट टीम तो आप जब इसको डिस्क्राइब करें तो इसको प्रिसाइजली इसको करें ठीक है ना ये वाला जो सेट नोटेशन का मेथड है इतना ज्यादा यूज नहीं होता ठीक है ना ओके ना यू मूव टू दैकेंड मैथड ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ सेट दैट इज दी लिस्टिंग मैथड अब देखिए लिस्टिंग मैथड इज यूज मच मोर दैन दिस्क्रिप्टिव मैथड अब लिस्टिंग मैथड में क्या होता है इसमें आपको बाकायदा ब्रैकेट यूज करनी होती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी हम बात कर रहे थे कि जी दी स्टूडेंट्स टेकिंग एड मैथ इन माई क्लास तो फिर आप बेटा इसमें यू विल हैव टू लिस्ट दैम के जी इसमें अली है इसमें मुकर्रब है इसमें मुस्तकीम है इसमें फिजा है इसमें तो ये आप सारों के आप इनके अंदर नाम लिखोगे ठीक है ना अच्छा इसी तरह से आपका सेट बी जो था दैट वॉज दी सेट ऑफ प्राइम नंबर तो अब आप इसको पूरा इसको लाइक टू थ्री फाइव सेवन एंड सो ऑन ठीक है अच्छा जब हम लोग लिस्टिंग मेथड की बात करेंगे अब इसके अंदर कुछ टर्म्स ऐसी हैं जिस जिनकी आप जिन, जिनकी आपको जरूरत पड़ेगी यहाँ पे तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पे हमारे पास आप लोगों ने दो टर्म सीखनी है पहली हमारे पास होती है फाइनाइट सेट ओके फाइनाइट सेट इसका ऑपोजिट होता है इनफाइनाइट या इनफिनिट भी आप इसको बुला सकते हो ठीक है ना ना अ सेट विच हैज अ लिमिट टू इट्स मेंबर्स That is a finite set, okay? For example, Zaira, आपकी क्लास में 
ज्यादा बीस या तीस बच्चे हो सकते हैं ना जो एड मैथ ले रहे हैं सो दिस सेट सेट ए इज अ फाइनाइट सेट इफ यू लुक एट दिस सेट बी देर इज नो लिमिट टू इट तो ये हमारे पास क्या हो जाएगा ये इनफाइनाइट या इनफिनिट सेट है हमारे पास ठीक है ना इसमें देर इज नो लिमिट टू दी मेंबर्स ऑफ दिस सेट ओके सो फाइनाइट सेट और इनफाइनाइट सेट जिसमें लिमिट होएगी वो फाइनाइट है जिसमें लिमिट नहीं होएगी वो इनफाइनाइट सेट हो जाएगा अच्छा इसके बाद इसमें ये भी होता है बस तीसरा एक बड़ी जबरदस्त इसमें नोटेशन होती है दैट इज फॉर दी एम सेट ये आगे जाके अभी इसकी जरूरत पड़ेगी एम सेट क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपके पास वी है Now there is no member in it. Now please never write a zero in it, okay? So there is no member in it. So that means this is an empty set, okay? Is for writing, I go three copy. Ota like you can write the C as this is equal to phi. Now this is the symbol for the empty set. Phi means the empty set. For example, if I say that uh, like the number of birds sitting in this room, so that set will obviously be empty because right now in this room there is no bird, okay? Or, for example, in your class, there is no one who takes bio. Let's say so. The set of bio for uh, the students in your class that would be an empty set because there is no one who is taking bio in your school. Okay. Acha. Ab yahan pe ab apne ek pehla symbol dekha. Let me write it over here. This is this symbol is phi. Okay. We we can write it as phi. The empty set. Okay. Now the next term that you have to learn from here that is the uh like that comes under this uh listing method that is n of a so this n of a let me write it over here n of a this is another term used in sets that means the number of members of the set a for example there is a set a which has a numbers like its members are 1 2 5 7 8 and 11 okay so you see this is a finite set so you see there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six members in it so we shall say this is n of a that is equal to 6 now you given the number of the members of a set there is no need to put the bracket so otherwise this would become another set okay so number of members of the uh, set a they are 6 okay uh, if there is a set for example there is a set b now let's say it has even numbers in it this is 2 4 6 this is going up to infinity so the n of b would be equal to infinity because we we do not know how many members are there they are going up to infinity okay now for example there is a set c it has no member in it okay this is an empty set so we shall say n of c that is equal to 0 there is no member in it okay so n of c that is going to be equal to 0 so n of a means the number of members of a set of the set a okay okay now i go to the next term used uh, in this um um listing method that is this symbol let me use a different color over here now this symbol okay now this this means belongs to or is a member of for example we want to say that 2 is there in the set a so we shall say 2 is a member of the set a so this 2 belongs to the set a now whenever i teach this in my class i always uh, like you know tell a joke to my students that for example there are ways um, of expressing yourself in mathematics as well for example you have a crush on someone and you want to say that you are really belonging to that person so you can say that uh, i belong to that like you know whatever that is you okay and for example after some time there is some problem koi phada ho gaya to aap usse kehna sakte nahi yaar aap koi scene nahi hai so you can put a cut mark on that i am no more yours okay i don't belong to you okay so this is the mathematical symbol so this two belongs to a and if we want to say that ke isme 10 nahi hai so we shall say 10 does not belong to the set a okay so this is the symbol here that means belongs to और इससे हम कहेंगे कि इज अ मेंबर ऑफ ओके ओके गाइस द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सेट्स दैट इज सेट बिल्डर नोटेशन नाउ दिस सेट बिल्डर नोटेशन दिस इज यूज्ड अ लॉट इन योर यू कैन सी दैट इन योर पास्ट पेपर्स ये बहुत सारा आप यूज होती है नाउ दिस सेट बिल्डर नोटेशन इज बेसिकली अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव मेथड एंड द लिस्टिंग मेथड अब इसमें लिखते कैसे हैं आइए मैं आपको बताता हूं नाउ देयर इज अ सेट ए नाउ दिस इज एक्स वेयर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू 
even numbers and x is uh, between 0, uh, more than 0 and less than let's say 20. Okay, now you see that uh, you will read it like this, the x where x you will read this column sign as where, where x belongs to even and x is between 0 and 20. So you see that here you are describing the members of uh, the set A and here you are telling the limit of these members, okay. If you list this, you will see that the same set would be like this is 2, 4 and up to 18. So these are the members of this set A. I am again telling you that please don't uh, try to copy this way of writing the braces. So this has to be on just because I don't want this video to be blank here. So I'm just like you know, writing this quickly. So this is the set A. Now, for example, there is a set B and you want to say that X where X is prime. Okay. Now this is understood that when we say that X where X is prime. So that means there is no limit to these prime numbers. We have just told that like the members are the prime numbers. So this would be all the prime numbers going up to infinity, okay? Now sometimes you, you, you do get uh, this set written like this, x where uh, 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to, let's say, 3. So you see, uh, this is written as an inequality. You will have to solve this uh, inequality to see that what are the members of this set, okay? So let's solve this is 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. This 2x is greater than or equal to 2. And x is greater than or equal to 1, okay? So we are assuming that these are all going to be the real, I mean, the integers over here. So uh, greater than or equal to 1. So this c can be listed at 1, 2, and so on. Okay, so this is it and uh, there is one uh, very important notation, uh, one important kind of sets which is uh, uh, like you know represented using this set builder notation that is when you have to tell about the coordinates uh, of, of different points on a line or on a curve. For example, look at this, I have a set A, now I would say this x comma y where y is equal to let's say 2x plus 3 okay and i'm just going to uh, close this so this is now the members of this set are basically the coordinates of the points which lie on this line okay so for example if you're given uh, a limit over here like where x is between minus 1 and 1 okay so you have you could keep only minus 1 0 and 1 then if you want to list the members of this set so guys look at this this is your x this is your y so you can keep your x as minus 1 0 and 1 so your y is going to be you put these values of x into this equation so you get this as 1 this is 3 and this is 5 okay so if you want to list this this would be uh, minus 1 comma 1 this is first member this is 0 comma 3 is the second member and this is 1 comma 5 this is the set third member and if someone asks that what is n of a so that would be uh, 3 okay now for example there is a point p and let's say it has the coordinate it has the coordinates minus 1 comma 4 and someone asks you that if p is a member of the set a so you would say no p is not a member of so you see we are using this uh, these notations here okay guys the fourth type of sets representation uh, this is the fourth and the most important type of um, sets representation that is Venn diagram like where we use a diagram to show the members of a set okay now for example look at this there is a set A and that, uh, that has had the members 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Now, instead of writing this inside these braces, you can simply draw a circle, okay? You can draw triangles, squares, whatever, but mostly the circles are used. So you will write A here, and you will write here 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Achha. Now, there is a very interesting thing in it that uh, you can write, show the same set like this as well, like this is the set A, and just write 4 in it. If you have written just one uh, number over here, so this means this is showing the number of the members of the, the set A. So there are four num members in it, so we're just writing four in it. For example, if there was another number, let's say seven, and then there was 11 as well, now there are six. 
this is 7 and 11 so we'll just write 6 over here like there are 6 members in this set now the beauty of this method is that um, we can write two or more sets using just one Venn diagram okay now let me tell you uh, how do we do that for that I'll have to introduce some new terms over here now there are the cases for this for example uh, look at this uh, uh, there is the set A uh, which, is, which has the members 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 okay and there is a set B it has the members um, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 okay now this is the definition uh, of a, of a def like you know uh, if we talk about a defined set then a member cannot be repeated in a set so when we are going to draw its Venn diagram uh, and we want to show both of these sets in just one diagram so you see the two is uh, found in both of these sets so we have to write this once so we have to devise a way uh, of representing these two sets in one diagram but not writing this two two times okay so for that purpose you will be drawing two overlapping sets okay so this is the set A and here is the set B. So this 2 is common here, so we shall write this in the common area. Now this 2 is a member of the set A, it is a member of the set B, okay? And I'll be writing the remaining members over here. This is 3, this is 5, this is 7, this is 11. And I'll be writing 4, 6, 8 and 10 over here. If you just focus on the, the circle representing this A, so it has all the members, okay? Aapko nazar aare 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Or B pe agar aap dekho, to aapko 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 nazar aare. Dekha na? Now, the, these, uh, these two sets, they are representing a special kind of sets. The sets which have one or more members in common, so they are called the overlapping sets. Let me write it down over here. These two sets, they, these are overlapping sets. Okay? Because they have something in common, so their circles are overlapping. Now, this, this two is... Uh, Again, this the set which has this two in it is a special name here. It's a intersection B. The set of the common members of A and B. So I shall write here A intersection B is two. Okay, this is the intersection A intersection B intersection. This symbol basically means and the members in A and B. Okay. Now, the, the second thing, uh, A union B, when you combine both the members of the set A and B, so that means union, okay? So this is going to be, uh, we shall write all of them, writing this just once, the members in A or B, union, you, you, you're uniting and not repeating the ones which are found in both these sets, okay? So this is going to be two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 10, and 11. Okay? So this is the A union B thing. Okay? Now, uh, this was the overlapping case. Now I move you to the second kind of the case where we don't have anything in common. Now suppose the set B is now, it has the members 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Okay? You see that? Uh, there is nothing common in them okay so these kinds of sets they are called disjoint sets okay so if I um, draw its Venn diagram so here is a set A and here is a set B I'll be drawing them away from each other because there's nothing common between them so I don't need to draw them overlapping okay this is 2 3 5 7 11 this is 1 4 6, 8 and 9. So there is nothing common. Do you see here that 5 would come. Now what is A intersection B over here? Is there any member common in A and B? There is no one. Okay. So you can simply put this phi sign over here. Like if I asked you that what is N of A intersection B? So you can simply say that is 0. There is nothing common in them. Okay. And here the A union B would be the sum of like you know we combine them. This is 1, 2, uh, there is a sequence going up to 9 and then you have 11 so there is a sequence you can like write these dots over here okay okay I'm finishing this video over here in the next uh, part in the next video uh, we shall continue from here and I'll be talking about the uh, subsets universal sets and inshallah we shall try to complete this topic in 
uh, two or three more videos. Thank you very much.